Hello and welcome to the Formula Analysis using Argus Measurements, Argus Overview. My name is John Psilopoulos and this is part one. First, we're going to go over the benefits of Argus Measurements. The first benefit is that you can visualize the entire structure's response, including strain gradients and hotspots. You can compare a computer finite element model to the actual measurement. You reduce your tryout time, you get quicker time to market, and you improve your product quality at a lower cost. Now we're going to do a quick comparison of the Argus measurements versus traditional circle grid analysis. Argus photogrammetry system is a whole part, area, section, and point analysis. The photogrammetry measurements are non-contact and highly accurate. The automatic calculations and analysis for strain, thickness reduction, and strain data are all relative to the FLD diagram. On the other hand, circle grid analysis is a single point analysis. It's a human measurement, which is not really reliable or repeatable. Additional data inputs or manual calculations are very prone to errors. And the human evaluation of point, strain that, point strains that are relative to the FLD can vary. Additional measurements for thickness reduction are very hard to measure around flanges and round surfaces, as you can see in the lower right-hand image. Additional measurable results include improved product quality, reduced process development for time and cycle, and optimized tooling management. Some of the measurable financial benefits include reduced development and production costs and reduced cost of quality. On the other hand, circle grid analysis can miss critical areas and produce questionable product quality. It is often produced uh, performed by steel suppliers, which include time delays, can be very costly for a company. It is very time consuming to analyze large areas or whole parts. And in general, it's a lower investment in the short run, but a higher investment in the long run due to the wasted time that an employee needs to spend on getting the majority of points that you would miss. The Argus itself consists of image tracking on a triangulation base. As you can see in this image, it's tracking points from three different images. Just like circle grid analysis, the part is electro-etched with a solid dot pattern because it tracks ellipses. The dot pattern itself is 50 to 100 times more precise than circle grid analysis, like having a forming engineer in a box. It then maps the strain distribution on a 3D shape. You can see the hot spots and gradients on the part. And with just a click of a button, it is all mapped to the FLD diagram. You can see in this image, you can see the flow limit curve and how the red spots are above that line, indicating a failure. Here is a typical screen of the Argus software. As you can see in the upper left-hand corner, the coded targets placed around the actual part. This helps the camera and the software identify the images as they're triangulated. You'll notice that there is a scale bar in the lower end of the image. This gives it a size ratio, kind of like a dollar bill to a footprint. In the middle of the image, you'll see the color gradient in a 3D shape showing the hot spots in a cool and warm colors. You'll also notice that there's a section line going across the hat section. That section is automatically mapped in the lower right-hand corner of the screen with just a click of a button. No added calculations need to be done. You'll notice in the middle of the lower end of the screen that you can overlay the actual strain gradient over the actual part so you can always know exactly where you are in your measurement. And again, it is all automatically mapped to the FLD curve where you can actually put safe and marginal lines in your FLD curve. This concludes part one. Please continue to part two for further information.